Hi, welcome to Analyze It. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about how you can create a table using a column value from another table in Power BI. Um, and also, the same technique can be applied to Excel. Um, in a previous video, um, I explained you how you can connect uh, a table um, from the web, meaning um, a table that is sitting on the web and we, you can connect it to um, Excel or Power BI. And it, the table that I had was um, sitting on the cloud um, using an app called uh, Kobo Toolbox, which is used for mobile data collection. And we connected um, the table in the cloud to Power BI and the same process can be applied to uh, Excel. Then we saw how to refresh, how you can refresh um, the table as new data are coming. And we also created uh, a conditional column. In this video, uh, we will create a new table using the, uh, the column value and, and we will do that through two methods, uh, duplicate and reference. And then we will see the difference and we will create the new table using these two methods. So what I want to do exactly, I have a table and my table uh, has five columns, name, location, sex, age, and the last column is youth female. And this column is a conditional column. And what I want to do, I want to create a new or brand new table using the youth female and this table will return only um, the people who are classified as youth and female meaning in this case it will only return one row and this is what i want to do i want to create a new table based on my conditional column where i will it will return only those who are female youth meaning yes but how i can do that Basically, I will go to Power Query and then from Power Query, I will make, I will create a copy of my table and from that table that I've copied, that I have a copy, I will apply a filter on the column youth female and the filter will only select yes because we know that we want to duplicate, you want to, we want to generate a table that will return only the youth female. And once I have applied this filter, I it will create a new table for me. So let's go to my Power BI, um, or we can do it in Excel. And remember guys, um, Power Query will work in Power BI and Excel. So this, it will be the same process. But in this video, I will go in and do it in Power BI, but remember you can do it also in Excel. Let's go to my Power BI and we'll see how to do that. Okay, I have my um, table open in Power BI. So now let's go and open a Power Query um, using Power BI. Um, so to open a Power Query in Power BI, you go to Transform Data. In Excel, um, the, to open the Power Query, the process is slightly different. Um, and then after that, all the remaining process are uh, the, the same. Um, if you don't know how to open uh, Power Query in Excel, um, I have published a, a video about it and you can go and watch it. Otherwise, um, I'm putting in the chat box the link for accessing this video. So let me click on Transform Data and then Transform Data. And uh, the Power Query Editor um, window will be open and it will show me um, first in the left side the, all the queries that I have. In the, at the center, you have your table and at your right, you have all the steps that I have applied so far in my table. You can see, for example, I added a conditional column. Now, um, let's, um, let's duplicate our, uh, or let's do a copy of our table using the duplicate method and then we'll do the filter. And after that, we will repeat the same, um, we'll copy the same table using the reference uh, method and we'll do, um, um, the, um, we'll do basically the same process. So to do a duplicate, to do a copy 
of your table using the duplicate method. You go on your query where you have the table. You do a right click on your mouse and you select duplicate. And then it has created a duplicate um, um, table of the first one. So we can change the name. Um, so I will call it here um, duplicate. Oh, sorry. I tap the name and enter. And you see it has um, do a copy of my table. Now, um, if I want to, um, if I want to um, do the filter, I will basically go on um, in my column, um, you female here, and I will click the down arrow here, and I will unselect the no. When I once I unselect the no, what I'm telling Power BI is that this table filter it and give me only um, the cases where the youth it is a youth female. So I unselect the no and I leave the yes um, checked and then I click OK and you can see it has given me only one um, table because it, uh, one row sorry because it is that row which is a youth female so now let's do um, the second um, uh, approach which is basically um, by making the reference so it's, it, is, it is the same thing. So let's um, right click on the first table that we want to have a copy. So we right click and instead of clicking on duplicate, we click reference. And we repeat the same process. We will give it, give it a name. Let's call it reference so we can make the differences. All right, enter. Okay, um, again, we can tell um, Power BI to only um, generate um, the youth female. We'll do the same thing for this. And select and check set no. And then we click OK. Please note that now I, I am on the reference um, query. So any changes that you do in your reference um, query will be applied here. All right. Okay. So you see, you ha we have the same um, um, result. So now, what is the difference between the duplicate and the reference? Let's go on the duplicate and see what happened. You see on the, the applied step, when you do a, 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 a duplicate table, it will duplicate the table, but also it will give you all the step that you have applied in your first table. If we go in tab table here, you see we have all of that step, right? And when we have duplicated the table, here you have all the same step, right? Remember we have created an additional column, a conditional column, which is also in the table. So it's copy, it copy all the step that you have applied from the duplicated table. However, when we go to the reference, you don't have all that step. So meaning when you do a reference, it's it is just copying the table, but it doesn't contain the, all the step that we have in the first table. This is the first main difference between duplicate and the reference method to copy a table. Now, um, let's see if we add a new case or let's say that you have a new data coming on, on the web or you have an updated um, data, what happened um, and what is the difference between duplicate and reference. Let's go and add a new case in, uh, in that case in Kobo Toolbox and see what will happen in the duplicate and the reference table. But before going to uh, my Kobo toolbox and adding a ca add an additional case, remember you need, you need to apply these changes in the query. Meaning if you don't apply it, you will lose the, um, the duplicate and the reference table. So to apply it, you, have, you go here on home and then you click the close and apply. Um, and you have, um, you have a choice to either um, close and apply and when you close and apply it will 
apply the changes and close the Power Query Editor, or you can just apply it so you still have your Power Query Editor open. So I will um, close and apply it. Okay. All right, so now let's go to my um, 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 Cobo Toolbox to add the cases. Okay, I am going to add um, two cases. Um, so I'm selecting East, and then let me call this, this person um, duplicate um, underscore reference, reference one, and I will make this people, two people, um, youth, so it will be a female, and I, the age will be 14, and it will choose, that person will choose product A, and I submit my first um, um, case, all right, it will take uh, like uh, eight seconds for having my record um, submitted, okay, all right, so let me add a second case. Um, it will be West, and I will call this uh, duplicate underscore underscore um, reference two. So we can make the difference. Uh, and this person will be a female. And again, it will be age of 10, so that this person will be a youth, uh, female youth, and will be choosing product B. And I will be submitting it, and we'll go back to our Power BI and see what will be the difference and we're going to try to refresh um, to get a new update um, in our duplicated table and reference table and we'll see the second difference um, between duplicate and reference table. I'm submitting it so let's go back now to our Power BI. Okay now I am back in my Power BI um, so because remember we have this some um, file in Power BI connected to uh, via the web through my um, Kobo um, account, my Kobo app where, I'm, where my data set is stored in, in the cloud. So I have established a, a, a web connection. So, um, and we just added two cases. So let's see, um, uh, we're going to refresh it. We're going to refresh and we'll see that um, it is, my data set will be updated in Power BI. I'm clicking the refresh button and you see it refreshing the table and the duplicate and the reference and we'll see the difference in a couple of minutes what happened. So, all right. So, um, okay. So, it is still uh, adding and you can see that um, my table, um, the table, because I'm in a table, okay, you have duplicate reference one, duplicate reference two. You remember we just added this in um, Kobo Toolbox. So now let's go to um, the reference table here. And we see that um, it has added duplicate reference one, duplicate reference two. And because these two were um, um, youth, uh, female youth, it, we still have this on our table. Now let's go to uh, our duplicate. The same thing also right and we can see that um, um we have this um information as well in the duplicate table so as you can see um my first table which is um called table is connected to the web right and i have added two more cases and the, i did a copy um of this first table using the duplicate method and the reference method. And once I'm refreshing the initial table, the first table, both the duplicate and the reference are at the same time refreshed as well. You can see that in the duplicate, you have duplicate reference one, duplicate reference two, which are the two cases that I just added. And when I go to the reference table, I have the same thing, right? So when you are updating your initial table, both method will be um, providing you an update of your copied tab table when you are refreshing your initial table. However, let's go back to um, our Power Query and do a modification in the table and see what, ha what will happen. We go again to Power Query. Okay. 
Okay, I'm um, taking a little bit of time. Okay, all right. So now I am in the table, in the initial table. So let's delete this column, the ID column. So to do that, we can just right click on the column, and then we said um, remove. We click on remove. So we have removed the ID column in the first table. So what? Let's see what happened in the copied table. First, in the reference, let's see what happened in the reference. We see that the ID column has also been removed, right? Now, let's see on the duplicate um, um, call, um, table. We see that the ID is still there. The ID column is still there. So the second big difference between duplicate and reference is that any changes changes that you are doing in your initial table will be affected will be or, or will be impacted in the reference table. Remember, we remove the ID, right? And in the reference table, it has also been removed. But in the duplicate table we still have the ID column. So this is the big second difference between the duplicate and the reference table. I hope you have enjoyed this video and then now you understand the difference between duplicate and reference when you are doing a copy of uh, your table and what is the advantage of doing uh, a, a web connection between your table and then how it impact um, duplicate and and the reference table. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get notification when I'm releasing a new video. If you have a specific topic on Power BI, um, Kobo Toolbox, and Python, and Excel, Power Pivot, um, SQL. Um, that you would like me to teach you or share with you, um, you are free to send me uh, an email and I will put my personal email um, in the chat so you can write me and I will be more than happy to um, design a video for your help. Thank you very much and stay tuned and take care.